the Bluetooth Smart 100 amp hour battery from Rododio. With all the manufacturers of lithium iron phosphate batteries in the market today, there's a great benefit to us as consumers. Rododio is one of the ones that's fairly well known in the amateur radio community. And yes, it is Rododio. I know it's not spelled that way from what I can see on the screen in front of me, but they very specifically reached out and said, Bob, we want you to pronounce the name like this. Now, of course, that was in writing, so I had to interpret letters to sound, and I hope I got it right. That's a Rododio battery. So there's a benefit to us with all of the competition out there. It wasn't that many years ago that owning a 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery was just out of reach for most of us. And they were large and heavy. And with all of the competition, innovation keeps happening, new features keep coming, size is getting smaller and price is reducing. We are the beneficiaries of this. That said, there has to be a reason why a battery makes it onto my channel. I focus primarily on uh, antenna systems, reviewing antennas, and trying to apply those antennas to a very unique circumstance that I have living in a home that's governed by a homeowners association. So why would I choose to talk about a battery when that's not the direct focus of my channel? Well, because this battery has a unique feature. We'll get right to that so that you know why I wanna talk about this today and you can decide if you wanna stick around. The compelling feature on this Group 24 battery is that it is smart and it has Bluetooth. For those who don't know, Group 24, that references a size category. So if you Google what size is a Group 24 battery, you will get very specific dimensions. It's the envelope that your battery can fit within. That doesn't mean that it's the right use for it. You should look at the user's manual. The user's manual on all of these types of batteries are very specific about how they are to be used safely. They are your lifeline to be sure that you're using these batteries properly. But Bluetooth means app. I've got lots of apps on my phone. I don't get excited about another app. I get excited about apps that actually do something for me. And in this case, this app allows me to kind of monitor the status, the diagnostics, the health of my battery. It lets me turn on and off certain features of the battery. And I think the most unique and compelling feature is that it's most simplistic. It just tells me if I'm charging, how much longer it's going to take to complete the charge. If I'm discharging, how much capacity I have left. So let's look at how we get this app on our phones. Every great product must come with brand stickers. Send me your brand stickers and they'll make it onto the HOA Ham Wall of Fame. Along with this quick start guide will come the product manual and on page two of this product manual, which you need to read page to page, cover to cover, is the QR code. All of our modern day smartphones let us open up our camera app, look at that Q code and up will pop the opportunity to open an app. First thing up, you're going to want to get your smartphone open. Head over to the camera app and snap on top of that QR code. You're going to be taken to your web store and given the opportunity to download the Rododio app. I'm not going to step you through all of that process because you know how to download an app to your phone. And once you do that, you're going to have to go through an installation process. That installation process will unfortunately take you to the need to create an account. I wish Rododio would not have have done that. I really don't like when apps like this force me to create a, an account to access this information, but nonetheless, I wanted to be able to have access to all the details. So I created an account so I can log in and see what's going on with my battery. Now that we're in the charge mode and we have the app running, you can see why this to me is a very valuable tool. I can see my state of charge, how long it will be till I have a complete charge and several other stats that would be important to me as I'm in the process of charging or using my battery. Next up, we have the opportunity to actually go in and see the temperature and cycle time, cycle life. How many times have we charged and discharged our battery so we can keep track of the foreverness, so to speak, of how long a life before battery will last. The Feature that just popped up on the screen is one of the capabilities to actually manage and turn on and off some of the features of this battery via the Bluetooth app. And I'll talk more about that when I do my capacity test. There's, there was a learning situation that I had that I wanna share with you before you get one of these batteries. And last but not least, here we are viewing my battery in the discharge state. I'm actually using it door, uh, during the process of doing my uh, capacity test. And this is showing 
how I'm drawing the battery down, what the state of charge is, and if I stay at the same level of discharge, how long will it take before my battery is completely depleted? Let's go ahead and connect our CBA5, make sure that we have all of the parameters on our testing software set up correctly so that we can begin the process of actually testing the capacity of this battery. And now that we have this kicked off, it's going to take about mm, 10 plus hours for this test to complete. So I have to sit here and babysit this and watch over this. So I'm gonna make you stay here with me. How does that sound? What do you wanna talk about for the next 10 hours? Well, of course, you're not going to stay here for the next 10 hours. We're going to jump right to the punchline. So let me go to the closing screen of what this capacity test revealed for us. And here we have it on the screen coming up right now. We have about 100 and a half amp hours worth of capacity through our CBA5. Now, that's a pass, right? Because this is a 100 amp hour battery. However, I think that most of us expect a little bit more. We normally expect to see these batteries to have more capacity, you know, maybe three to five amp hours more than what it's rated at. So what happened? Let me explain. Here in my ham radio shack, I have all kinds of tools, needle nose pliers, channel lock pliers, screwdrivers, and even small hammers, and maybe some other tools that have a little bit more finesse with them. This battery is a tool and this Bluetooth capability is a tool and you need to know how to use your tools properly. We're all familiar with our electronic devices having parasitic drain. Um, a power station that I'm going to demonstrate here in a couple of minutes has parasitic drain. This Bluetooth feature has parasitic drain. So when I charged this battery prior to the discharge test or the capacity test, I forgot to turn off the Bluetooth capability. So the Bluetooth feature was operating and drawing something against the battery. And of course, as I was doing the discharge test, it also um, was drawing because I was using the Bluetooth feature to be able to monitor what was happening with the battery. Now, this Bluetooth feature does not draw unrealistic uh, amounts of energy to utilize it. It's reasonable. That said, if you power up this battery, if you charge it, you put it in storage for four months and you don't disable Bluetooth, you're going to see a pretty significant discharge over that period of time. And that's what occurred with me between the time that I fully charged the battery and the time I started my discharge test. And I didn't feel like spending 10 more hours going through the discharge test because it was a lesson learned for me. Here's a tool, I need to use it properly. I'm advising you to do the same. Those who've watched my other battery reviews know what I'm about to talk about here. So I have a very small all powers power station and this works great in very limited circumstances. If I have a short-term power outage, I can run some small devices. I can make a cup of hot coffee. I can cook some eggs. I like this small form factor because, well, it's small. It's actually a little bit smaller than the battery, but it doesn't have a lot of capacity. So let's say that you needed to run this longer than the time that the internal battery would allot. What are you going to do? What are you going to do if it's two o'clock in the morning, your power is out and you can't get any solar into this? Well, I have this connected to the solar port on the side of it. This is not smart enough to tell the difference between a solar panel and a battery. So always look at your 100 amp hour batteries as a backup to the solar generator. And when you plug this into the solar generator, it thinks that it's getting power from a solar panel and all of a sudden it begins charging. So your Rododio battery is not just something you can use direct to take DC power into your devices or convert it over to AC with an inverter. If you own a power station, you have an inverter and now it just needs some extra power. And this is providing the power to my solar generator as though this was solar energy. This does not know the difference. It doesn't care it sees power in. So this is your backup to your power station. So now you have capacity to run through a power station, in my case, a very small all powers power station, and I can run something through the night. You know, at my age, I use heating pads sometimes for an ache or a pain. And maybe when I wake up in the morning and it's time for breakfast and I, I'm not quite sure how much capacity I have left. Do I have enough to make some hot water for oatmeal for the XYL and to make my coffee or only enough just to make my coffee? danger. 
<laughs> if that's your decision. But nonetheless, you can open up the app and you can see exactly how much capacity you have left and you can make some informed decisions about what you wanna do with that remaining amount of power while you're waiting for the sun to come up so you can plug your solar panel in. Not directly to this battery, you need a solar charge controller and we'll talk about one of those in a future video. Hope you found this useful, friends. I'll talk to you soon. Good Gear 73.